Hey, this is Douglas C. Perry, Editor-in-Chief of IGN Xbox and 360, with a video review of The Godfather for Xbox 360. This game was out already. came out in the spring. came out on the PS2 and Xbox, and this 360 version is an updated, enhanced version that, if you've already played the game, may not interest you. However, if you've been waiting for the 360 version, here's the features that it has. The 360 version has enhanced graphics, so you're going to get better particle effects, slightly better textures on the characters, the general textures on um, the buildings are okay, um, slightly longer draw distance, and um, you know, still pretty much the same frame rate. In terms of gameplay, you're going to get a lot of new missions that are core to the story. You're going to get extra side missions. You're going to get extra uh, fatality kind of moves, kill, killing moves. You're going to get um, cops that will fight with you when you bribe them. And you're going to get probably one of the biggest features is a henchman who will work with you on your harder missions. Uh, aside from these these vitals, and there are some little details in there that you know you'll see when you play it. This game is essentially the same as it was on the current gen systems. The other cool things that I need to mention so that you know if you're looking for the 360 version include leaderboards that are online so you can see the scores for other guys see what have gotten it when they haven't and also you'll get achievements and the achievements are broken down so that they're various they're widely distributed they're all in 10 and 20 30 point increments and of course since the game's not online they're all part of the single player experience so you know take down a couple warehouses get 20 points heist a bank get 20 points etc etc so since this is essentially the same game as the current gen systems, what you have um, are the same strengths and weaknesses. Uh, the Godfather on Xbox 360 is a sort of a trial and error kind of game. It's a big urban uh, mayhem type game like GTA, like True Crime, like uh, Saints Row. And so what you do is you start off linearly, you follow the story of the Godfather, the very first one, and you're become, you become a, a character who's intricately involved in the story of the Corleones as they defend themselves from the other five families in New York and as they build themselves up and and eventually you know take over the city and move to Las Vegas. Your character, the mob face character is you know it's decent it's got some good depth uh, it actually makes you feel like you're part of the game which is kinda nice and the trial and error gameplay as you progress um, is both good and bad so There'll be a lot of times where you're, you're just dying over and over and over again because the AI is too hard or because you just don't have enough health or because you haven't built yourself up. Um, so, you know, that that's one of the cruxes of the game. Like, you may not like it. You, you may end up dying a lot and having to restart stuff, and that's one of the things that the game sort of begins to, you know, pound on you with, especially when you fight the Barzonis at the end of, at the, end of the game. So I mentioned that there were some gameplay elements that were added to the 360 version, and I, and I haven't really mentioned any of the graphic uh, elements. Some of those include a cleaned up map, dynamic weather system where you'll actually hear thunder and s see lightning and actually it'll rain. There's self-shadowing, which is pretty good. Um, and there's even persistent face damage on the characters, which looks okay. With regard to the game structure, it's still based on the excellent system in which you take over businesses and break up rackets. Uh, you can, again, That's bribe the cops, bike. and that is an actually enhanced feature that works slightly better than before. It's still a pretty big city. There are five boroughs that you'll have to take over, and you'll still be able to beat the game in you know, about 15, 20 hours, the main story, that is, and then continue to explore throughout the rest of the world, which would take you know, you know, about 50, because it's, it's really quite a big game. In the end... The Godfather on Xbox 360 is an enhanced current-gen game on a next-gen system. It's got slightly enhanced graphics, it's got a lot of tweaks to the AI and to the gameplay, but it still plays very much like The Godfather on the current-gen systems with these extra enhancements on the Xbox 360. And if you bought an Xbox 360 and you're expecting a next-gen experience, uh, you know, this is on par, it's just not pushing any boundaries. I think, you know, we gave it a 7.9. We think it's a fun experience. It's a good game. It's not a great game, and it's not one of those games that you're going to show off to your friends when you say, hey, look at this great new HD Xbox 360 next-gen experience.